Hello everyone, it's been a little while. Um, today is a nice rainy day and I thought I'd take some time to record this and to just update you on where I've been the last couple of years. So in 2020 I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Visual Communications and majored in Illustration and straight from there I went into the working world, um, looking for a job, trying to get some work, particularly in graphic design because currently where I am based there's not as much work or demand for illustration so my second best was to look for graphic design work and so I've been freelancing for the last two years doing that working on graphic design projects, websites, editorials, storyboarding projects as well and most recently children's books so during those two years it was quite difficult to look at jobs and to get consistent work and eventually the last job I had I was a part-time social media manager and because of this person's clients they unfortunately decided to either source in-house full-time for a social media manager or they just decided to can their social media completely and not have to outsource someone for it because of the fact that they just do not require someone because their social media presence isn't really important to them. It's more just of having a presence rather than bringing in clients. And because of that, unfortunately, I did not have a job. So that was towards the end of 2022. And because of that, I was quite stressed Financially, I had to pay for myself fully for the last two years, um, including rent and stuff like that. And eventually my parents contacted me. So now they don't live close by, so I don't live with them. Um, they live 500 kilometers away and they are also at like retirement age so they're sort of selling up where they are now and just trying to finalize that and to try and move to a smaller more manageable home and also to sell their business so they recently offered to help pay me monthly and to also offer to pay for a postgraduate certificate in education um, for me to study further and to get a job in teaching and basically what this means is that I would be studying full-time for a year and it is for people with a degree like a three or four year degree um, in a specific subject and then with this certificate or diploma or whatnot you can go and teach in that subject. So if you did accounting, then you can do this and teach in accounting. You don't have to do a whole three-year degree on top of what you've already done in education. Because normally if you were a teacher, where we are, you would have to do a bachelor's. Is it a bachelor's? Um, you would have to do a degree in education, basically. So this just allows you to be able to teach from grade 8 to grade 12 in your method subject, which for me would be visual studies. And basically what that means is that I stopped doing most of my freelance work. I only have one client currently and they are for the children's books that I've been doing, um, which has been going quite well, taking a bit of time, but I've done a few books for her already and I've done another one non-related to the series that um, she has also approached me for and yeah that has been going quite well and I've just been working on that while also doing my studies and so far we've done it's basically halfway through the year and my studies are going quite well actually and because of this I want to try and put a bit more time and effort into my art and my business you know starting um, Kofi, getting looking at how to do the memberships for that as well and also just having a bit more of a presence on my Instagram and my YouTube because I do really enjoy it and I think before the reason I haven't done it as much in the last two years was because I was quite stressed 
managing freelance work, managing clients, managing my budget monthly, and just dealing with life. So that is basically where I'm at. So I will be doing more um, podcast episodes, voiceover episodes as well. I want to share podcast episodes on my Kofi, on my Kofi account, and eventually at some point. Um, when I have a bit more of a budget for my art business, I would like to open up memberships as well, where I would give insights for people that subscribe. I would give a monthly update, a monthly podcast, or bi-monthly, or every two-week podcasts. I'm still working on the tiers. You know, I'd have in-depth tutorials, in-depth videos, um, any recommendations for anything art-related and personal as well. So I'm going to be looking into that for the next couple months while developing my art further, recording my art process, recording anything that I do as well. And I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, that's basically my update. And I will be taking a break from this eventually in... August to September because I'll be doing a physical teaching practical as well where I actually go to a school and will be teaching in my method subject which is visual arts. Um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to that. I think this this um, degree in this course is going to really help me grow and also help me to be able to develop content for eventually like Kofi memberships and also for teaching teaching companies as well, websites, online learning, etc. Like, I think it's really going to benefit that um, for sure. But yeah, that's basically my update. So I hope you look forward to more YouTube videos, more art-related videos, and my podcast that I'll be uploading for free for the next couple months or longer on my Ko-fi until I can get the membership up and running. But yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. Bye. wondering what this is this is my failure <laughs> I dislike acrylic <laughs> so badly <laughs> I have a project to do and because I assume my lecturer is not going to accept a digital medium a digital artwork because you know um, I decided to try and do acrylic and I hate it I absolutely hate it. I didn't even get that far. But I so I started working on it and I realized that even though I've done it on paper, it takes forever to dry. So when I started over layering it or layering over it, um, the colors were actually getting smudged and stuff and it just was the paint was coming off here and stuff. So I didn't really like it. Then I did on a different, I did on there's acrylic paper. I did this, which I actually really like. Tried to sort of paint a figure in the middle and it also just smudged. And I'm too impatient to wait for the stuff to dry for a project that counts for marks. I think if it was my own personal work, I probably would have taken a bit longer and waited for it to dry, work on some other stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I need, this is due <laughs> soon. And I don't like how it turns out, but I'm still going to take photos of it and use it in my process. And at least I got a cute little base for a future coaster to come soon. So that's where I'm at. Get back. I hate this medium. <laughs>